Woot. Hi, it's Nita Potter from Nita Potter Productions, and it's another episode of Woot Wednesday. I put my camera on a, a little tripod, and I'm, I'm, it's at eye level, so I'm trying to get better at looking into the camera, not looking up at the camera, not looking down at the camera, because, well, that's ridiculous, and my hair is, I got work hair, so whatever. Uh, hopefully you're not hearing any of the shenanigans that are going on in the background. Somebody's decided to start being drunk and singing at the top of their lungs at... 3 a.m. And somebody just set off a volley of fireworks. So yeah, great night already. Um, <clears throat> let's see. What did I do last week? Or over the last seven days? Um, I finished my mix with Patiently. Yay! And um, let's see. I... Consult my list. Because, well, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. I can't remember everything. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I finished patiently. Yes. Well, no, it's Wednesday. Two days ago. I finished it on Monday. Finally. It took, uh, I spent two weeks on it. Finally got it to where I was mostly happy with it. There was a couple of things that, that I, I wasn't really happy about. But that's okay. That's okay. It's just a competition. I do it for the fun. And the experience, and to add other tracks to my portfolio. So, there's that. I won't go into the other competition that, um, yeah. Anyway, moving on. Um, oh, uh, let's see. And since I finished patiently, I'm going to start getting back into my own music production. I've got a piano track that I'm working on uh, getting the sheet music finished for. Because, <clears throat> for so, well, for some reason, it's just like I can write sheet music, but it's a little difficult for me. Because sometimes it, I can't, sometimes I don't know exactly what the, the note lengths are when I play it. Only when I start putting it into MuseScore, which is what I use to do my, uh, my scoring. Yeah, um, I, I don't know exactly what the note durations are. Sometimes I don't even know what the tempo is until I, I figure it out um, doing scratch tracks. Uh, but for some reason, this piece has been a colossal pain. Unlike Drunk Singer. Anyway, ignoring all that going on over there, um, <clears throat> yeah, until I start writing the sheet music, I'm not entirely sure what the tempo is. I may change the tempo. I may, because, well, with the last Meadowlands, there were nine separate tempo changes. <laughs> and um, this one had, uh, the one that I'm working on, I, I, it had, it had a, I think maybe four but I'm, I'm not, sh uh, I'm, this is pre-production. It's all pre-production right now. I'm still trying to figure out if I want to keep it at what tempo I have it at, if I want it a uh, faster tempo, or if I want the whole thing to be at a little slower tempo. I haven't decided on that yet. Right now, I just need to get a scratch track done, and I'm using, in order to help me play it, because I have... In Reaper, you can change the tone of the metronome. Right now, I have it as kick, snare, 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 kick, snare, snare, snare. You can put in samples for uh, the default tones that they have in Reaper. So I was like, oh, thank God, because that tick, 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 tick was getting on my nerves. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be working on that this week, hopefully. Uh... Let's see, going on vacation soon. I <laughs> can't wait. <laughs> I'm, during this whole pandemic, I'm not going to lie, it's been pretty friggin' stressful. I mean, I may not be a frontline worker, and I know their stress has got to be absolutely astronomical. Um, 
my stress is uh, a hell of a lot through the roof than it normally is because I've been getting a little more snippier than I normally do. Little things, just it's just obnoxious. I'm just an essential worker. And I know the frontline workers work a hell of a lot harder than I do. And I'm not ashamed to say that either. Um, yeah, so it's like I've been stressed out, freaking out. I don't even remember what I was talking about. <laughs> so... Hi. <laughs> anyway, uh... What was I talking about? I don't even remember. Three o'clock in the morning, I lost my train of thought. That's okay. I do it a lot. Um, let's see. Yeah, finished patiently. I get back into doing that. Oh, yeah, I was learning how to use the... Uh, I was working in Reaper's piano roll doing step editing, or step recording with, with the Casio, um, which I had to figure out why the heck it wasn't, because I'd put in the note. Okay, the first note's fine. Yeah, I wanted a quarter note. Woo, yay, go me. Then I go to try to put into the second note in, and it only shifted over a little bit, and I'm like, what is going on? So I only got a little bit of it done earlier this afternoon before I had to go to work. So I'm going to be working on that this week and hopefully getting getting it. There are certain parts of the uh, of, of the track when I'm, I'm listening to the metronome that I put up for it that it's, I, I get confused. Something is confusing me on on the beats on it. So I'm, I'm doing the step recording to help alleviate that because the sheet music, writing the sheet music, I can't quite get it correctly as to how I've been playing it on the piano for three years. Yes, it's a track I've had for three years. I'm just now finally getting to the point where I need to start recording it. I, I need to start putting out things because the whole the whole thing when I started two years ago, it wasn't at, at the beginning, it wasn't learning how to be a mix engineer. Or, or a producer. It was just learning how I can record my own stuff, get that down, and and go from there. But I started learning all of that first, and then I got better at recording and, and learning how to do things that I needed to do in order to achieve the end result that I would like to get. Um, I'm not the quickest at recording my own stuff. It, I, and I don't think... I don't... Um, unless you're really awesome at pre-production. I've only been at this two years. Well, that's a lie. I started, what year is it? 2020, 14, six, six years ago. With a tiny little Yamaha keyboard that I do have that's out of shot. Yeah, it's out of the shot. It's sitting right there, um, learning how to play the piano. And uh, I have quite a few um, <clears throat> videos of me try to play classical music on it. Um, it was just, it was fine for learning. I knew, know where all the notes are. It was just the grand staff. So I didn't really have to worry about anything above it or below it. Unlike with the Casio back here, which has all 88 keys. And it's just like, it's, as soon as things, uh, notes start going above the staff, I was like, I've got a cheat sheet that I made. I only want the one sheet that I made that um, has all the notes and it's, yeah, on the keyboard. And um, yeah, that's, when I get confused, this is what I look at. So, okay, that's on the floor now, so I'll pick that up later. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, I changed the camera angle because this is sitting up there. I, I bought this little tripod about two weeks ago. It's, uh, it's a little, it's just a little desk a desk tripod. So I was like, okay, cool. Didn't realize it came with uh, an adapter for using your cell phone. So at some point I might actually use this, but I don't know yet. Um, it also came with a GoPro adapter and I was like, I don't have one of those. So it sits in the little bag in my um, file cabinet over here. Um, but yeah, I've got my webcam perched on it on the cell phone holder. <laughs> So the camera can be at eye level. Um, yeah, and I'm rambling on, which is fine. Also, 
And this is going to be fun when I can get to actually doing something. The same day, if I can grab a hold of this stupid thing. The same day I got the, uh, the little tripod, I also bought a cassette recorder. It was on the shelf at Walmart for five bucks, and I'm like going, you know what? <laughs> Gimme. So, because I had been going to the thrift stores, and you know the you know the thing. It's like it's like oh that's cool, looking at stuff, and it's like oh yeah that's great. I remember having something like that when I was a kid, and then a couple weeks later, going damn, I really because you find a use found a use for it. I already know what I'm going to use this on. <laughs> Some drops. Anyway, uh, find a use for it, and then you go to go look for it to to purchase one. And there's nowhere. They're nowhere to be found. And I was, I was like, every time I went to the thrift store, nothing. It wouldn't be there. It's like, dang it. So, five bucks has its AC adapter and comes with this really cute microphone that I might actually use on something. I don't know yet. But I, I saved a video that I watched a while back because I'd gotten interested in like, hmm, how can I get some kind of like different sounds or whatever underneath my tracks? And I was like, oh, let me, why, why do I use a cassette recorder in, in, in Reaper? How can I do that? I found a video, watched it. He got a little, little technical, but that, that's okay. I, I didn't mind it. And it's just like, now I got to figure out how I'm going to use it. I mean, I've got, I've got, um, oh, it actually came with a cassette too. I haven't opened it yet because I haven't used it yet. See kids, this is a cassette. We used to play them in, and now I screwed it up, tape recorders. It's stuck over there now. The adapter's caught under my mini controller. Anyway, but yeah, I'm going to, I want to use, I want to be able to send a track from Reaper into, to record into the cassette player recorder and then take that and send it back into Reaper. I will, I can't wait to try that out. I haven't had a chance to do it yet and I'm going to. So hopefully this weekend I'll have time to figure that out. Um, I also had been exploring running my piano through my guitar amp back there and seeing if I can get like some kind of like because I'm quicker on the piano keys than I am on the guitar. So, maybe using that somewhere. I'm not entirely sure. What else is on my list? Oh, yeah, I had uh, gotten the uh, BBC Orchestra uh, plug-in, Discover plug-in, and they released a, a Reaper template, I think, sometime last week. I downloaded it, and I'm, like, looking at it going, I don't like it. Because it doesn't go with how I do things. <sighs> Sorry, there's a cat in my lap now. And, and she's purring. Yes, that's a microphone. Okay. Anyway, um, I didn't like the template that I had it because it didn't... Because it, it was going to take too much time to fix it how I like to do it than it did making my own, which is what I did. I made my own for that. And I'm also finished, like, this afternoon or Tuesday afternoon um, a track template for uh, just the lab's instruments. That's <laughs> well over 100 and blah, blah, blah tracks. Um, am I going to use all of them? No. <clears throat> Will it give me a chance to actually go through them and, and listen to what they are? Absolutely. It's like, I, it's like, there's no way I could, I mean, I probably could run a hundred and, I swear, I think it was like 180 tracks. I'm not entirely sure. I cannot remember. I didn't really, I didn't really look at the final track count. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I can just go through it. And I was like, I already know a couple of them cause that, I, that I've used. But there's quite a lot of them that I haven't I haven't uh, even used yet. So I was just like, that'll give me a chance to go through those and, and find those out. Um, and 
yeah. I think that is about it. It's not about it. It actually is it. I've been rambling on. We got purring entertainment, drunk entertainment over there, traffic entertainment. Thankfully, no fireworks going off at the moment, even though it is July 1st. All of our, as far as I know, all of our displays that used to be held at the park are not going to be. Uh, have been canceled. So I don't know if there's going to be any anywhere else. I don't have a clue. Not that I can go and do anything because I work that day. It is what it is. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's, 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 oh. And, and adventures. Sunday after I got off of work, I made it down the hill, getting ready to turn on the street that I need to go on. My tire went completely flat. I drove 10 blocks at 10 miles an hour on a flat tire. By the time I got home, the whole thing, it did not shred, thankfully. I'm thankful for that, that it didn't, but all, like, a, a lot of the wires were exposed on it. So my daughter, my oldest daughter came and helped me with that, and we got it replaced, so yay, it's done it's fixed i can drive again but yeah that's this car's this car i'm gonna try to fix more stuff on it it's got issues but that's beside the point anyway um that's it for now what have you done this past week is there anything that you let me ask you all this is there any kind of videos um that you would like to see um like uh, is there any kind of like music discussions that you would like to have that we can explore together or a anything? The only thing I don't do is politics and religion, so don't ask. I'm not going to do it anyway. Um, so, any comments or questions? Tell me how your week went. Hopefully better than mine and better than tonight at like 3.24 in the morning. Um, I hope you all are doing safe and well, and I'll see you in the next one.